floor is yours. Thank you, Chairman, and thank you, members of the committee. I'm getting a crash course in 3D printable guns. Um, this is actually uh, the House companion to Senator Coyne's bill on the other side. Uh, this summer, there was some publicity that um, I guess you can buy patterns, literally buy patterns online that will teach you how to make a gun. And the plastic gun is literally made from the same plastic same plastic materials that Legos are made out of. So um, there was a federal ban on them, but they still, the, the blueprints are still available. And while it's not a problem in Rhode Island, it's Senator Coyne's wish to be proactive. She's a former state police officer. And she said that in the course of wiretapping, the state police have taped a conversation among gangs in the northwestern part of Rhode Island about these printable guns. And as I understand them, you can produce, reproduce a single shot revolver or a multi-shot um, shotgun. They don't beep through a medical, metal, metal detector. They have no background checks because obviously if you're buying the pattern online and making it yourself in your basement, there's no metal detector. Um, they're completely untraceable that way. There's no background check. There's no serial number. So the only reason why anyone would want this gun, I'm thinking, is to do harm. I know that the Library Association has expressed some concerns about the 3D printers available in public libraries. I also know that it's not their job to supervise and censor what's being downloaded and printed out in their 3D light in their on their 3D printers in the library. But um, it's Senator Coyne's wish to to become proactive and to avoid this becoming a problem here in the state of Rhode Island. And I guess there is a, a gentleman named Cody Wilson. He is the founder of De Defense Distribution in Texas, and he's the one who's made these blueprints available online. That's what I know about. 3D printed guns. 